Okay, this is a little Know Your Screws 101. So we're gonna talk about what type of head the screw has, what type of tool you need to install it, and then the treatment at the end of the screw. So first, head. This is a pan head screw, and this is a countersunk screw. So with a countersunk screw, you could see you have a flush or flat surface at the top. So you might use this if you're assembling IKEA furniture or something where aesthetically you don't want to visibly see the head of the screw. So it can be flush or below the surface. Whereas with this pan head screw, you might use this if you're dealing with a thin gauge sheet metal or very thin material. And so you're going to see this rounded edge surface above the installed finished product. Next, uh, the type of tool. So you might either have, you can see um, a slotted hole here, um, a crossed or Phillips head screwdriver required, or you might actually have to use a drill where you have no hole at the top. So it's important to take a look at that to know what type of tool you need to install the screw. And lastly, we're gonna talk about self-drilling versus self-tapping screws. So this is a self-tapping screw where you can see there's no treatment at the edge versus a tech or self-drilling screw. So for this one, you're gonna need a pre-drilled hole within the surface where this one, this can actually perform the drilling itself. So you don't need a pre-drilled hole. And really, both of them cut their own thread, but it's really gonna determine what type of tool and pre-treatment you need to install the screws. So three quick tips. Uh, feel free to add anything that may help.